Hey, what's up you guys? Uh, my name is John Camacho. This is Between the Pylons. I want to do something a little bit different today, record something. Um, I just I just had to talk about the Antonio Brown thing and it's like I've I've gone on a rant on our podcast and I've, you know, uh, spoken about it on Twitter and written about it a little bit and I just the past three days have been absolutely mind boggling. So I just want to go through it and kind of talk it out because I truly truly do not understand what the fuck is going on with Antonio Brown's brain head. I don't know. Uh, I think the the only the only logical explanation is uh, Burfick just completely wrecked his world in that hit in the playoffs. Only thing I can think. Um, so I mean of course, you know, he, he starts he starts with the Steelers, you know, it starts last year and he he uh, quits quits on the team and and I understand there's a lot of other stuff that goes into that, but it, in my opinion, he quits on the team. He doesn't play that last game. He gets suspended. Um, you know, there's a whole there's a whole whatever, and a lot of stuff that came out after that wanted to blame uh, Ben Roethlisberger, blame the team, whatever happened. I think with current events, the way where we're looking now, it's on you, AB. I'm sorry, I can't I can't watch what's happened this off season, and you know two days before the regular season and and think that last year had nothing to do with him. That's on AB, in my opinion. We'll see. Um, then he forces his way out of, uh, out of uh, Pittsburgh, which, you know, he just fucking went on a rant, acted like a clown. And I was, honestly, I was one of the guys saying, okay, he's just doing this because he wants to get out of Pittsburgh. He's forcing his way to another team. I respect that. Go get your money. He, he got a three-year, $30 million deal or whatever the fuck it was. You know, a shit ton of money. $30 million guaranteed for sure on top of whatever else. I'm not a contract guru. That's not really my lane, honestly. Um, but he, he forces his way out, gets the money. Great. Go get paid. I'm, I'm cool with that. I didn't really have an issue with that. Did he act like kind of a child? Yeah, but, I mean, fuck. He, he got what he wanted. Cool. Go to work. Do your thing. Then... You get a fucking cryogenic foot injury, which I don't even understand how the fuck that happens, but it did. Whatever. Sounds like he would have bounced back from it. I'm not sure. Uh, I missed everything else. It sounded like he was going to play week one. Now he's not, obviously. Um, but then he has the fucking helmet thing. Then he has the fucking... Uh, the the fucking... He, he's upset because he got fined $50,000 for missing team meetings because of a fucking helmet. A helmet. Which I get that's important to the players, whatever. But it's a fucking helmet. Like, play by the fucking rules, A.B. Come on. Um, and then he wants to cuss out his his boss, general manager, uh, Mike Mayock. But cusses him out, calls him a cracker and all this other stuff, which... I don't know. I, I didn't... There's a whole uproar about that on Twitter. I didn't really care that he cussed out another grown adult. Uh, just the fact that it was his boss. You know, I can't cuss my boss out. Nobody else in the regular world can cuss their boss out. I mean, for the most part, uh, why should AB be allowed to? Because he can catch a ball real good. Just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, then he uh, apologizes. So he apologizes on Thursday, and then Friday he gets another fine. Realizes he's lost his thirty million guarantee, and he quits. Now the last part I really don't have an issue with, because I, he did quit. I mean, but. He quit because the Raiders basically made him. Like, in in his job, you know, guaranteed is everything, you know. And that, that's that's true for pretty much any uh, football player. Guaranteed is, is really all that matters. And once the Raiders took that away, they basically cut him. But they let A.B. make the final decision. So I, I didn't have a problem with the release me comments that came out this morning. And that was whatever. My biggest issue was this all stemmed from a helmet, which you know I've gone in on on that so many times. I'm I'm not even gonna worry about it. But this this all stems from a helmet and a fifty thousand dollar fine. And I and quick math, quick math. You guys can do it on your phone with me. I've already done it. it, it a fifty thousand dollar fine to somebody who's gonna be making thirty million dollars over the next three years is equivalent to a two hundred and fifty dollar fine over someone who's gonna be making about one hundred and fifty thousand over the next three years. That's fifty thousand a year. I don't make fifty thousand a year. I make a little bit less than that, but like, that's that was just something that seemed pretty fucking attainable for most people. Fifty thousand. Most grown adults are probably making more than that, right? Uh, hopefully, or uh, right, right in that ballpark. Um, hopefully more. Um, so two hundred fifty dollars. 
is the equivalent of what he was fined to his thirty million. Now that doesn't that doesn't account for all the extra money that he would have made on his contract. That doesn't account for endorsements, all the other shit that he gets for being a football player and playing in the NFL and all that stuff, jersey sales, all that doesn't account for any of that. So fifty thousand dollar fine is basically nothing for Antonio Brown. Just like two hundred and fifty dollars really isn't a whole lot to me. Just not. So I so you lost your shit over that. Your team fined you. You deserve to be fined. You skipped meetings. You caused an entire fucking uproar the entire off season over nothing. A fucking helmet, man. You deserve to be fined. And then you cuss out your coach for being fined, or you and, and or not your coach, your GM. And from the reports that I read, he approached Mike Mayock. He started the shit. He punted the ball, and 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 all this stuff happened. Then he realizes the the next day, oh shit, I can lose all my guaranteed money. Apologizes, thinks it's okay, and of course the Raiders basically cut him without. They didn't cut him, but they sent a letter saying, hey, you are not entitled to any of your guaranteed money. All of that is null and void because of language in the contract that you broke. Which honestly, I fucking love it. <laughs> to me, this is somebody getting what they fucking deserve. You're gonna act like a child. Treat him like a fucking adult. <laughs> like you, you, you want to cry about not getting exactly what you want. Now you've lost money that you'll never get back. And, and and I know that sounds crazy. Yeah, he'll probably end up on another team. I'm recording this at two fifty, uh, Tennessee time, Central Central time. Uh, after he was got cut, apparently he can. He can be signed at 401 by a team. I haven't seen any team that wants him. Honestly, it's tough to imagine a team that's going to want him after this, all those fucking shenanigans because he's not going to stop. He's proven that he's not going to stop. He's proven that, that he believes he's above the system. He believes that he is better than everybody else in the world. So so he why would he stop? He, he's, he believes he doesn't need to. So I, I, I can't imagine a team, I mean, that's really going to want him. I mean, Jaguars maybe. You think of teams. You have to think of teams that would need him. You have to have a need at wide receiver and a team that can handle the uh, the uproar. I mean, Jaguars. I don't think are st- a strong enough locker room to handle that. They struggled last year. The locker room struggled because they were losing. So that, that doesn't seem like a strong locker room to me. Um, Baltimore, maybe they're they're a stronger locker room. I would think. I it, it would just be tough. I don't really know where he's gonna land. He'll land somewhere. But he's lost money that he's never going to get back because no team's going to give him $30 million guaranteed. I mean, he's proven he doesn't deserve it. He's proven that he can't handle being paid and treated like a big-time player because he, he was paid like that and treated like that, and he fell the fuck apart. Like, this, And in the same day, we see Julio Jones, who is the epitome of a top-notch character guy, get paid, uh, I think, $66 million over over three years. That's almost double what Antonio was getting over double what Antonio was getting 66 million over three years and he gets it all up front gets you know, he gets uh, I believe it was 64 million up front right right on signing so that's that's awesome I love Julio Jones I'm he's a perfect character guy and then on the other f- side of that Antonio Brown is a fucking child so I don't know man it, it's just crazy I don't I don't get I don't get the thought process I don't get where he's coming from I don't I don't understand what's going through his head because th- there's no reason that you can't just shut up and play football like and and i get that I, I hate being that guy i hate being that analyst or whatever the fuck i am saying hey just shut up and play football like i i understand that you're a person he put out the youtube video which i didn't even get into that because it was just weird and stupid like he's done a lot of things on social media that are just like did was that supposed to be like on your side? Are we supposed to? Was that supposed to gear us towards you? I don't get it. Like he called out uh, Juju being for being a college kid that emailed him or texted him and uh, asked for advice. Like, okay, why is that? How does that make you better than for for shitting on Juju for asking for your advice? I don't understand that. Uh, and then he posts the IG post expecting everyone to be on his side. You deserve to get fined. Like you did. You broke the rules. You get fined. That's that's how your job works. So no one's gonna feel sorry for you. Sure as fuck, not gonna feel sorry for somebody who's supposed to make thirty million dollars getting fined fifty thousand. Fined fifty thousand. <laughs> uh, and I mean, are we? It was like a commercial for AB. Like, oh, everyone's against me. Whatever. Like, you're putting everybody against you. Like, all you have to do is shut the fuck up. All you gotta do is just like like. There's nobody that I know that doesn't love the way Antonio plays on the field. 
I mean, he's an awesome football player. No one's going to deny that. He, he was great in, for Pittsburgh. We were really excited to see what he was going to do for the Raiders. So explain to me how the fuck everyone's against you. You're, you're putting people against you. You're acting like a fucking child. And you're going, you're letting social media and all this shit get to you. And uh, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know what it's like to be famous or the, the plight of a um, multi-million dollar athlete, a superstar. You know, he's on this, this poster over here, <laughs> which you can't see, whatever. Um, I don't know the plight of, of the superstar. But man, it can't be that bad. Like fucking delete your Instagram, delete your Twitter. You 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 gotta believe that if I if I fucking had that kind of money or had that kind of skill, I would stay the fuck off it. Cause it's it it is absolutely a it's a cancer, <laughs> and, and it's a cancer for the regular guy. And I can't imagine what it's like for for the superstar. So I really this is like I try to see from the player side. I try to be so player focused and so pro player as somebody who watches this because I do understand that like I love football for the players I don't I don't really give a shit about the owners I don't give a shit about all the li- litigation and all the bullshit that that has to go along with it I just love football I love the players I love the scheme I love the 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 chess match of the game I love that 11 people have to be on perfect unison to make one play work and that has to happen 30 to 40 times a game for for a game to win. I love all of that. And I love watching Antonio Brown play. But and I and I want to be on his side, but I haven't been for a while and I just don't get where he's coming from. And I I've been somebody who I've I've constantly tried to defend him and be like, "Okay, well, he's just doing he's just being acting like a, a child because because he wants out of Pittsburgh." Oh, and oh, and he had all that issue uh at the end of last season because he he wants to. He doesn't like uh, uh, Ben Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger is kind of a prick anyway, and I I could understand that. Like I want to be on his side, but where where are you coming from, AB? Where what's going on? I don't I don't understand, and and I don't I don't think the rest of the world does either. And and now it's like you've you lost thirty million dollars for being a fucking child. That's what you you. It's gone. And you might you might get a contract, but you're not gonna get a good contract. You're gonna get one year, seven eight million. That that to me is the max thing you can get. And I'm probably gonna get proved wrong about that. But I just don't I don't see a team that has already kind of constructed their roster. Uh, you know, every single team, no team expected A B to be on the market right now. So teams that have already constructed their roster, uh, you know, everything's already set. How much money are you really gonna pay a guy who's done this i mean done everything wrong i mean in this past the past three or four days have been a news cycle that i have never seen i don't think anybody has ever seen the level of fucking nuts that antonio brown has been over the last three days like he went from pissed like pissed that he uh got fined to apologizing or no to cussing your your cussing out your boss to apologizing because he realized oh shit i might lose my money and then losing his money, and then saying "fuck it, release me." And again, I don't have a problem with the "fuck it, release me," but I just don't. I don't understand it. I don't understand the way he is. I don't understand what's going on. And I try to look at the rest of the NFL and, and try and see, you know, signals. What what did me? What do we miss? Should we have expected this? And I, I just don't think so. Like, what's the other angle to the story? Is it should should the Raiders have, have done something different? Yeah, they, they shouldn't have let this go on so long, maybe. Like, they should have shut it down when he was fighting for his uh, helmet, but, you know, he is a superstar. He wasn't really doing anything that bad. He just wanted a helmet, and I didn't even really have a huge issue with that. My biggest issue with that whole thing was saying, oh, I don't need this game. I'll quit if I don't get my helmet. That was when, like, my opinion shifted in a big way. Um, I mean, you... you you let him. You let him do it because he is already rehabbing an injury. You can't can't get too mad about the injury. Like it's a fucking stupid injury, but whatever. So I don't I don't know what the Raiders could have done. I think they did it the right way. Uh, other than just releasing him after the cussing, uh, I don't think they really could have done anything different. They basically gave gave uh, Brown the last ultimatum was you can play, but you're you're gonna play by our rules. And you know Brown was never gonna do that. <laughs> like we we knew that, and I wouldn't really expect anybody to, you know, 
see their entire uh, salary get taken away. I mean, not taken away, but taken the guarantee of it taken away, and still do their job. <laughs> it's that's tough to that's tough to to come back from. So I I don't know what the Raiders could have done differently. I don't think they did anything wrong. They traded a third and a fifth round pick for them, so they didn't give up a lot of draft capital, uh, especially for what they could have been gaining. I think you know. Any of us that plays fantasy football probably made a worse move, honestly. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't think there's another angle to this. I mean, the story's not over. Antonio Brown's gonna go somewhere else. He is gonna. He's gonna be in the news. I don't think he's gonna shut the fuck up because I, I don't. I don't think he's done. I don't think he understands the public perception. I think he's really stuck in, in a really bad spot. And I, you know, I. I hope that he can get out of this and realize that nobody was against him. At least <laughs> no, no sane person was sitting here rooting against Antonio Brown. <laughs> they weren't. Um, I, I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's a weird story, and this is a weird kind of way to end the video because I don't... I, I like to have an answer or at least have kind of a, a better understanding, but I just needed to kind of get my thoughts out and figure out, like, what the fuck just happened because what the fuck just happened uh and Tony Brown lost his job and he lost his job in the stupidest way of all time and that's I, I think the story I don't know I don't know what what do you learn don't be a fucking dumbass don't don't cuss out your GM get off Instagram man Maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe like Drew Rosenhaus, the uh, the GM, or excuse me, not the GM, the uh, the agent for Antonio Brown, Drew Rosenhaus, should have disconnected, deactivated, whatever he had to do, get him off social media because social media is a cancer for this kid. Or Antonio, not a kid, he's older than me. Um, and maybe maybe that's something that that a, a lot of the that teams and agents should be thinking about moving forward. These, you know, kind of off the wall, nutcasey type of players that, you know, just don't think before they press send, take them off social media. You know what I mean? Uh, or get them a burner account. <laughs> get them a burner account with 20 followers that, you know, no one's paying attention to. Don't don't have the blue check mark next to, a, next to his name. All that shit, man. Because it's just social media is killing some of these, these guys. And I think Antonio Brown is... is going to be the poster child for what not to do as a star you know he did it, he did everything wrong in my opinion you know and whether or not you like the system whether or not you you hate the system it, it is what it is and there's nobody that can that can be above it and and it's not like he didn't have any room like it's not like he was completely confined to like exactly what the world was asking of him like he he got out of Pittsburgh and got to Oakland because he wanted out of Pittsburgh and he wanted in Oakland. He got there. He got what he wanted. No, you could have just shut up right there. You won. Play for play for uh, John Gruden, who uh, some people really think can be a uh, you know a star and can make you a star. I, I have my doubts, but we'll see. I don't know. I think that's it, man. Um, I'm gonna watch the Clemson game. <laughs> I had to pause. The, I I had to finish the uh, Michigan Auburn game or Auburn Michigan Army game. Uh, I was really rooting for Army there. Uh, turn off the Clemson game, and I had to just get my thoughts out because I just there's there's nothing else. I, this is absolutely insane, man. So, knock on wood if you're with me. Thanks, guys.